everyone. I'm Nicole Thomas, Director of Social Media and Influencer Marketing at WFP USA. Today's spotlight will be focused on National Camera Day, a day that recognizes and celebrates the importance of photography all around the country and all around the world. Every day, WFP and WFP USA use a library of assets to show the realities of world hunger and the positive outcomes of WFP's efforts in solving this problem. WFP's photographers capture everything from what life looks like when you don't know where your next meal is coming from, to the programs that deliver life-saving food and resources to remote areas and communities. These photos and videos help us tell the incredible stories of who we serve in a way that leaves a lasting impact. So let's get started. What is your name and position at the United Nations World Food Program? My name is uh, Fredrik Lanurid and I'm working as a photographer for World Food Program. I provide still pictures and once in a while I also do video assignments um, for countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and I'm based out in Nairobi, Kenya. When and why did you start doing photography? When I was in my mid-twenties, I traveled across Southeast Asia and I had a camera with me on the trip. And I just fell in love with the, the intimate connections you can create with people when you have a camera. And I decided that I wanted to try to take up a career where I could travel and meet people from different cultures and locations in the world. Uh, so that's why I decided to um, pursue a career in photography. What is a particularly striking image from the field that sticks with you? One photo that I'm particularly fond of that I've been taking on assignment for WFP is of a little girl called Fatuma. She's having her hair braided by her older sister and they live in Kabalo, Democratic Republic of Congo. And in this area, it's been a lot of clashes between different uh, ethnic groups and Fatuma and her family were displaced for a long time. They couldn't use their land for food. Um, so WFP has a program, a peace building program where they've been working with different tribes and they farm together now on small plots of land. So it's quite a successful program. And I think uh, Fatuma's uh, eyes and her expression gives you a sense of um, resilience. What is the importance of photos and videos as storytelling tools? I think it's extremely important for an organization like WFP to have strong content in terms of photos and videos. And it's important for the audience to be able to take part and experience the life of people who are receiving the help and to understand exactly what WFP is doing and who are they helping on the ground and how does it look where they help people. And also for the beneficiaries to have their voice, to express, express their opinions and to show a little piece of uh, their daily life. And lastly, for those with a budding interest in photography, what do you think they should continue and what advice do you have for them? It's an amazing line of work to be in. It's very interesting to be out in the field, to meet beneficiaries and to be able to share a part of their life uh, to a wider audience. And I think it's very important to tell those kind of stories. And I, one recommendation I would have is to have your own small little personal project that you can keep going back and work on. It doesn't have to be something across the world. It can be something that you find in your backyard or the town you're from or whatever you have a passion for. Just have a project that doesn't require a deadline or any pressure. Something that you can keep going back to on your free time and, and just keep working on it and develop a story. Photography often takes a lot of time. The longer time you can spend on a project, the better the results. Wow, thank you so much. Today we heard firsthand how photography illustrates the importance of ending world hunger and helps us tell the story of how we can make a difference. The stories we capture and share are necessary in building global awareness and eventually moving people from a place of understanding to action. Thank you for joining us.